How do you know when to come to school in the morning? How do I know it's time for lunch? How does a bus driver know when to pick you up? How do you know when a TV show is on? What do we use to help us know that it's time to do something? Right, we use a clock. What does a clock look like? Do you know? Do they all look the same? Nope, they don't all look the same. Can you think about how they're the same and how they're different? Have you seen these clocks before? I bet you've seen one like this. And this is a grandfather clock. What's this called? Right, a watch. This one's like an alarm clock. Well, there are two types of clocks. There's analog clocks and digital clocks. Analog clocks look like this one. They have a round face and they have the numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then they start again and they go one through twelve. Those are called analogs. Can you touch all the analog clocks? So this one, this one, this one, and this one. The other ones are called digital clocks. They just have numbers on them and they um, they don't have the round they don't have the face with all those 12 numbers on it. So this one's digital. This one's digital. Is this digital? Yep. Is this digital? Yep. Good job. Okay, we're going to try to tell time to the hour today. So we're going to try to write 7 o'clock. So go ahead and try to write 7 o'clock on this clock. So if you notice, first would come the 7 that's before the two dots called the colon, and that tells the hour, so it's seven hours. And it's o'clock, so there's zero minutes. So we're gonna write zero, zero. So that shows seven o'clock. Now we're gonna show seven o'clock, the same time, on an analog clock. So the short hand, the little hand, points to the hour. Why we say the hour has the power. Even though it's small, it's very powerful. So you're gonna go from the dot in the middle, and draw an arrow to the seven. So that shows that it is, the hour is seven. And then the minute hand is different. We're gonna make, when it says o'clock, it's gonna go straight up to the 12. Whenever it's pointing straight up, we say o'clock. So if you look at this clock now, the short hand or the hour hand is pointing at the seven, and the big hand is pointing at the 12. That means o'clock, so we would read that as seven o'clock. What time does this clock show? Right, three o'clock, because the hour has the power. The shortest hand is the most important. So where is the little hand pointing? Right, at the number three, so we would say three o'clock. And the big hand is pointing straight up at the 12, so that means it's exactly three o'clock. Now let's write three o'clock in the digital clock. So what hour is it? Right, three, so we write the three before the colon. And is it o'clock? Right, it's o'clock, because the, the big hand's pointing at the 12, so we're going to write zero, zero minutes after the colon. So that says 3 o'clock on both clocks. Okay, see if you can sh draw 9 o'clock. So where would the hour hand be? Right, 9 o'clock, so that's the most important one. So it's the short hand pointing at the 9. And if it's o'clock, where does the other hand point? Right, straight up at the 12, so that one shows 9 o'clock. Now can you show 9 o'clock on the digital clock? So what would come first? For 9 o'clock we would have 9, and then we would have the two colons, and the two dots, which are the colons. And how many minutes after 9 is it? 0, so we would write 0, 0. Both clocks show 9 o'clock. Okay, let's try 1 o'clock. Draw 1 o'clock on this clock. So one o'clock is the hour, so we're going to draw a line from the middle to the one, and it's short. Remember, the short one has the most power. The hour has the power. And then where's the other hand, the minute hand, going to be? If it says o'clock, it is straight up at the 12. So that shows one o'clock. Now we're going to try it on our digital clock. So one o'clock, so we write the one first. Then we write the colon, which is two dots on top of each other. 
and then we write how many minutes. And how many minutes after one is it? It's zero. It's one o'clock. It's actually exactly one, so it's zero minutes after one. So we would read this clock is one o'clock, and this clock is one o'clock. Now it's time to do your paper. So get paper for lesson number 45. Write your name at the top. The directions are trace the shorthand for, on each clock and then write the digital time. So I want you to take a pencil or a crayon and trace the hour hand like that. So what time does that one show? Right, 3 o'clock. So you're going to write 3 o'clock. Okay, you're going to try the whole paper and then turn this on to check your answers. Okay, let's check your answers now. This one is trace the hour hand, so it points to the 7, so that clock shows 7 o'clock. So we're going to write 7 o'clock. If you got it right, mark it right. This clock down here, what time does that show? That shows 1 o'clock, so we're going to point to the hour hand. The little hand is the hour hand, and it points to the 1, so we're going to write 1 o'clock. This clock here, where does the hour hand point? You trace it, and it points to the 6. So that is 6 o'clock. Let's see if you got that right. Okay, now we're going to practice our 8s. So the directions on this side over here say, use a crayon to trace the number th this number three times. What is the number? It's a number 8. So we're going to use our crayon and trace it three times. So we start at the dot, and make an S and go back home. Make an S and go back home. Make an S and go back home. That's how we write the number eight. Over here, it says use a pencil to practice your eights. So you're going to use a pencil, and as you go, you're going to do the same thing. Make an S and go back home. Make an S and go back home. Make an S and go back home. That's how we write the number eight. So go ahead and finish your paper and then put it in the basket. Great job, you are done.